Hello and welcome to my brand new Geometry Notes tutorial. I want to show you how I can do this cool wipe effect here. As you can see, I can move the plane around as I, I want and uh, the toes will be wiped away. How can I do this? Okay, I don't want to waste your time, so let's get started. We start with a brand new file. And here we are, we don't delete the default cube, but I hide it here and I turn on my screencast key so you see something. So I just hide my default cube here and I'm adding a torus which I just scale a bit up. Then I change to geometry nodes and as I learn the screencast keys will be lost, so I turn it on again here. And now I add my geometry nodes tree here. I add a point instance node because then I got a instance of my cube on every point of my toes. Now as you can see it's a little bit too big. So I scale it down and add it mode. And I got this and I like it. And I change to matte cap and this nice shiny color. I love it. So it looks a bit, a little bit better. You don't have to do it just for that it looks cool. So now, how can I do a wipe effect? Well, I need an attribute node and the attribute node is called separate x, y, z. What does it do? It separates, as I said, from a vector, the x, y, and z value. And there is uh, an attribute which is called position, which has every point in geometry node and you can ask it for x, y and z and this is what we do here. We just ask for the value and then we do an attribute math node here and we ask is, is it greater than a specific value and if yes we could save this in the mask and we ask the x value for it. And as you can see now if I change the value here it, but only if I do a point separate, uh, this node will separate points by a position, uh, by a condition, sorry. And the condition is our white mask. So if x bigger than 0, you can see here, uh, then it will be shown else not. Because if I now take here the other geometry, I just see the other side. And if I change the value here, I have already a pretty cool wipe effect but just on the x-axis. Of course, I could change here to y and I've got the same effect on y. And of course, I can do something like, uh, example given, I could here add x and y and so I have uh, another angel. And uh, if I then ask here if uh, y bigger than zero, so y wipe and you see now I have x and y but I want the full freedom as uh, I showed you in the starting video so I ju just want to move freely a plane so let's get rid of these I don't need these what I need is now another possibility so first I want to define the plane. How can I define the plane? Well, I do this, I, because I don't know a better way, by three points, because I need three points for the functionality, which I will explain to you now. And this is here the answer I found on Stack Exchange for defining when or why a point is on the left or right side of a plane in 3D space. And the answer was, I, I'm no math geni genius, but I uh, know how to use a formula. And the formula is uh, you calculate B minus A, C minus A and X minus A, and then you compute, compute the determinant. And I even didn't know how to compute the determinant. And this is the link. And here is the formula for that. So you have here A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I. And here's the formula you have to use. So you can 
calculates the determinant. So, with this formula given, and we know the determinant, then you can say uh, the result is just negative or positive, and you have either the one side or the other side. So, with this information going back to Blender, I've prepared here something for you, and this is uh, the breakdown of the formula. So, the formula says there is this b minus a, c minus a, x minus a. I call this b1, b minus a, c minus a, x minus a. And the determinant is a, b, c, d, e, f, g, h, i. And this is a formula. And if this is bigger or greater than zero, I know which side it is. And for the formula, I use uh, a, e, i is my j, b, f, g is my k, c, d, h is l, and so on. And I just then add then j and k, and this is p. And then I subtract c, d, h and c, e, g, which is q. And then I have just to add these, s and t, and then I have the side. Hopefully this is understandable. And this is what I did with my determined and also this I prepared I want to show you this and therefore I do file append my blend file and here I want a geometry node and I hope yes Here is my node group which calculates the determinant. So what am I doing here? Input is my A, B, C. It's my three points you see here, A, B and C. And of course the geometry because I need the position and the position is the X value. And the result value will be this side value here. So what I'm doing here, A, B, C is my subtract A which is in my case b, b, subtract, minus a. You see, b minus a. This is this here. The next one is c minus a. Next one is x minus a. So these are the three subtractions here. Then I'm going to go further and I have here the result a, b, c, which is this vector here and this I separate in my values ABC because I have to multiply it here. So I just separate here my values and the same I'm, I'm doing here and for the F and G H I and here now is the multiplication A E I. So A multiplied by E is j and j multiplied by e is j so i have this here and here i do just the calculation uh, for the other things here i think it's not that complicated just much so it looks complicated but it isn't because it's just adding subtracting and multiplying and the result is here it's uh, the last s minus t so uh, S minus R, sorry, and this is my result side. So I can use this. How do I use this? By my uh, three empties A, B, C. So I'm gonna use these empties and uh, this can uh, be pretty easy to use, I just can drag and drop them in here. So this is A, B, and C. And I then ca can connect this here, A and B and C. And I use here relative because when I move them, I want that they will be updated. What do I else do I need? I need of course my uh, geometry so I plug it in here. What I also want is 
to CZ, so I'm gonna do join geometry just here. So I see what I'm doing here. And I join this with my plane created by the three empties you can see here. So let's make a plane out of it. Well, it's not a plane, it's a curve primitive and it's a curve circle. Now you may ask why a circle? Because from three points you can always create a circle with one exception, the points mustn't lay on one line. And so we change here from radius to points. Here are our three points and of course this is our A, B, C. And I just plug uh, the locations in here. And if I now connect this to my join, you can see a circle. Um, yeah, we can also use a circle. We don't need, you can use a plane, but now as I see it, uh, I think a circle is even better because then the points are on the line, which is nicer. So I keep the resolution high here because I like it. So if I now move the empties, you can see I can move my plane. And now we want, of course, cut this so we can see our cool wipe effect. So we use the result we get here in uh, our ABC. No, we want our wipe. And then we just do our point separation. That's all. So point separate. And here is our wipe. Ah, uh, I do the point instance too early. I'm silly. I'm sorry for this. So of course the point instance must be after uh, this. Yeah. Okay. And you see, well, if you do the point instance on the correct uh, thing, we can now move. Example given this one here, and you see a very cool wiping effect. Of course, you can move all around and you have this very, very cool wiping effect. Yeah, this was it. I hope you can make uh, cool animations with this. Have fun. 